locking nut sufficiently enough to allow you to put the shank of the cup grinding wheel into the motor. Tighten the collet locking nut while holding the motor locking pin. Never push in the locking pin while the motor is running. Severe damage to the motor could occur. Insert the shank of the cutter you are going to sharpen into the tool holder. Align the flat on the shank of the cutter with the set screw. Tighten the set screw. Raise the vertical slide assembly up and away from the cutter. Next, loosen the spindle locking handle and rotate the cutter to a 12 o'clock position as shown here. Use a steel ruler to align the cutter in the proper position. Upon aligning the cutter, tighten the spindle locking handle. Line up the finger so the tip of the finger is on the tooth face, shortly below the end of the tooth. The finger must be positioned against the adjacent tooth and must have enough clearance so the cup grinding wheel does not come in contact with the locating finger. After adjusting the finger in the proper position, loosen the spindle locking handle and turn the cutter clockwise. As the next tooth comes into position, you should hear a crisp snap of the locating finger. If this does not occur, readjust the locating finger until you do. Recheck all adjustable handles and make sure they are finger tight. Loosen the swivel plate adjustment handle and rotate the motor to the proper position. Retighten the handle. Loosen the chuck assembly locking handle and rotate the chuck and cutter to the proper position. Retighten the locking handle. Move the motor into position by adjusting the vertical and horizontal slides. Position the grinding wheel just above the tooth. Center the cup wheel with the center of the tooth to be ground. Adjust the feed rod adjustment nut on the feed rod so that the chuck and cutter will only be allowed to move enough to cut the tooth. Check all teeth prior to proceeding. Turn on the motor and dress the cup wheel as shown. This should be done whenever you install a cup wheel or when the performance of the cup wheel diminishes. When the performance of the cup wheel has diminished, a dull or poor finish is normally left on the tooth. Sometimes it is beneficial if you mark the side of the first tooth so that you do not forget which tooth was first. Adjust the vertical slide so that the cup wheel just touches the tooth. A few sparks should fly. After touching the tooth, slide the chuck assembly in and out two times or as needed until you no longer see sparks. Pull the chuck assembly back and rotate the cutter one tooth. Repeat this process until you have come back to the tooth you started with. Adjust the vertical slide two to three thousandths lower. Resharpen all teeth again. Repeat this process until you have cleaned up the surface on all the teeth. Shut off the motor upon completion.
Here's something to watch out for. When you resharpen, the teeth of the cutter will get semi-hot. It's imperative that you don't burn the cutter or let the cutter get too hot. When this happens, expansion of the tooth surface occurs and resharpening becomes